What's up guys, this is Nerds Toys here and today we have Revoltech Domon. Uh, for those of you who do not know what Domon is, uh, Domon is kind of like an iconic character I guess in Japanese culture. But Domon originally started out as a, um, a small little animation short for the NHK um, satellite broadcast station, our network. And it was like to, to commemorate their 10th anniversary. So, I'll put more information about Domon down below so you can find out a little bit more about this little guy. But today we are here to talk about the real tech version of Domon. And I must say, I really like this figure. It's a really cool figure. It is just surpri it's surprisingly, has a lot of articulation for what his kind of weird proportions and size are. But we'll, take, we'll talk more about that later. For right now, let's take a, tool, a little tour, excuse me. Uh, around the box. This is the front. Nice uh, typical Realtek um, standard window pane. You see most of this, I think you see pretty much all the accessories that Domon comes with. Um, as you can see, a lot of eyeballs. But we'll talk more about that later also. Uh, we have this, whoops, this nice Domon coon, if you can see that. Let's zoom in here. Uh, Domon Kuhn, a 100 millimeter action figure. And this little information about him. This is the Revoltech Yamaguchi line. And I'm not sure who these other two are. Maybe, hopefully, we'll get some figures of these two to kind of go along with Domon. And we'll see Domon right here. Looking very, very awesome. Uh, side of the box, typical information about Revoltech and all its fantastic joints that are inside and oops hold on there. and we have the side which has a very nice little pose of Domon and one of his accessories here and we have Domon Kuhn and once again a couple more of his accessories and once again Revoltech Yamaguchi and on the back I really like the back of this box because it's that newer kind of back where it's not just all white and a couple action poses. It actually has some color and some details to it. So let's focus in on that. Uh, okay. So yeah. Very, very nice. I really like this box. Like I said, we have Domo in different poses. Here's him jumping. Um, running. Angry? I guess he's angry. He's crying here, which uh, is very funny eating and different other things and this over here just shows you some of the accessories that he comes with mostly all the eyes right here but here is the kind of lot of accessories that Domo comes with as you can see uh, there we go all the accessories he comes all the accessories he comes with and a nice little list to tell you everything he comes with once again, the eyes, the different eyes that he comes with. And talking about his hands, which we will see as soon as we start talking about articulation. And I believe this is also information about the history of Domon. Which, like I said, he started off as a little um, animated short. Not animated, excuse me. Um, stop motion. So, I believe this is talking about the history of Domon. If you can see right there, uh, there we go. The I'm not sure if that's like the first stop motion short that he was in, but that is the stop motion short that they are talk or I was talking about. So very nice. I really like this back of the box. Very cool. Very colorful. And without further ado, let's go ahead and. Set this guy free and take, check out his articulation. Okay, so this is Domon out of the packaging here. And he is surprisingly bigger than what I was expecting, actually. Um, for a little size comparison, here is a Vita game. This is Touch My Catamore. Oops. So he is almost as tall as a Vita game. So you can see kind of a different height he's almost he's about I would say maybe uh three four inches shorter than the video game so he is surprisingly tall I'm not quite sure how tall 
this box is. I'm not have an actual ruler or anything on hand. But he, like I said, he is very tall, surprisingly, for his such such a short stature, and I, I really like that. And he's very heavy too. He's he's actually heavier than this Vita box, which there's nothing in here, but still he's heavier. He he has some good weight to him, but there's a good reason why. So let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Now there are a few things that I have kind of nitpicks about the articulation. It's still very good, being the fact that it is revoltic figure of uh, revoltic joints but there are a few things that I wish were um, a little bit more how can I say it's improved or a little bit fleshed out like let's go ahead and start off with the arms he has no uh, upper articulation of course but the arms the arms can only be on this far I can't really tell from there this is as straight as the arms go. So it seems pretty straight, but it's not like a full, complete bend, at least from my perspective. Um, it doesn't seem like it's completely, it has like a little curve to it. So it's never completely straight out like that. It's always kind of curved out uh, inwards. So I kind of wish, but the only reason why it's like that because they want to cover up the revoltic joint which is it's fine but I would have been fine with having a revoltic joint exposed on this end if it would have gave it um, a more straighter articulation so with his arms they can of course go full 360 there's nothing in the way that will hinder Domon from doing that with the arms you can they can go up about that far they can bend in this far with the let's see hands you have full 360 I think every joint in between whoops that's another issue that I have a dumb on which I will address right about now like I said the hands can go a full 360 and these hands in particular their dumb one comes with two hands I will show the other hands later but these hands in particular they open up they have a nice little um not say compartment but um i guess like a little claw to kind of simulate domon holding something because he doesn't technically have thumbs or fingers or anything so you have to kind of compensate for something and they did a very good job with that which i, I do like that and it sits very flush you can't really you can't really tell that there's a slit um i didn't push it back all the way that well if I can, yeah, it's about, that's about as flush as it gets. So from the side, you cannot tell at all. You can't see any kind of bulge or anything where the hinge is until you actually open up the hinge. And it can go out, uh, that's about as far as it can go. Right there. So, not too bad and very nice too. And another little nitpick I have about the arms are that they only go in this far, so no one can reach that far around. And that now that's without stressing or really putting too much stress on the joint, the real tech joint here. But if you want his hands to actually meet, the joints kind of have to pop out of the socket some in order to meet in the middle. Um, maybe a double hinge joint would have maybe helped that i'm not quite sure if it would have worked seamlessly alongside dumbo since he has no say armor or anything um i'm not sure how well that would have worked but in order to get his hands to meet say in the middle almost they can they can like barely barely touch but like i said that's just more of a nitpick for me you can't really see it but it's not too bad. Since they're real tick joints, hey, so you can take them out and drop them right back in. No problem. And the star of the show, I must say, is the waist articulation. There aren't really too many real tick joints in the uh, waist. Or there, there are. There's, there's about three, four maybe. Um, yeah, because I think it's 
one at the hip, one at the kneecap, and a double hinge joint here at the foot, which is very cool and very nice. And his legs can, they can bend about yay far back. You can see that, about that far. And they get, they get a pretty good forward. That's about as far forward the kind of calf and the whole leg actually. But something that Domo can do, he has no real waist articulation. He doesn't really go side to side, unfortunately. But that's not a problem. Something that Domo can do, which I'm very surprised about, is sit. You can sit. That's a, like, I've never really seen, well, I've seen quite a few figures that have a natural sitting pose. But for Domo to be so oddly proportioned or oddly shaped, he has a very natural sitting pose. And I love that. I mean, it was a very small thing with figures, I guess figure technology today, that, that's a natural thing. But I was just very surprised that Domo can sit. So you can just have him, say, sitting on your desk, having a nice day. And it's very cool. And it's because of, I would take off the legs, but it's really a, a pain to get back home. But it has a very nice uh, hip system where it's not all real tech joints keeping it together. I mean, most figures aren't, but, you know, real techs, most of the joints are, are real tech joints. It's almost, I guess you can say kind of SH figure arts quality of joints that kind of go on. They kind of sit from about here to here. It's a little joint system. That's why he's so heavy. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a, a mix of a SH figure arts hip system where the legs really can't pop out like SH figure arts, but they have that nice range of motion, like I said, that allows him just to sit naturally, which is just very nice. Um, I know it seems very simple, but to me, I really like that because that allows me to have dumb on sitting and not having to worry about, oh, I need to stand to put them on, and that's going to take up more space on my desk, and here, and this, and that, and that. But, that is pretty much it for the articulation. And let's, if I can, if you can see some of the details in Domo. Um, there's some very nice details in this little guy. If you can see, like, these little bumps and ridges. You can, you can feel each and every one of these, so he kind of has like a textured feel, which is very cool. It's all the way around, there's no, it didn't short this little texture feeling, even on his butt. It's on his butt, it has a texture feeling on his butt. Sorry. <laughs> and even, I want to say, even in the mouth, it it has the look of a textured feel. If you, yeah, you see it right there, you see all the little bumps and stuff. You see it very nicely there. Uh, you can't really... You can kind of feel it in the mouth. Um, the only place where you don't have the texture feeling is the teeth and the eyes. The eyes have like a nice glossy feel to them. And teeth kind of have, kind of, I would say, kind of a soft feel to them. Not, you know, not really soft, like pliable or bendable. But kind of like a nice, just kind of soft, kind of, like a weird kind of furry, like staticky feel. So yeah, that is Domon's articulation. Next, we will go over the accessories for Domon. Alright, and here we have the accessories that Domon comes with. Let's start this little guy aside here. Let's start off with the kind of boring, uh, ordinary accessories. Um, first we have, way back there in the back, is the Revolve Tech stand. The trademark, I guess you could say, traditional Revolve Tech stand. Um, it does Domon really no good because he is such a heavy figure that this Revoltic stand doesn't really do the job. It doesn't really cut it. I kind of wish that Revoltic would kind of... I, I mean, I do appreciate that they include stands like some other companies like, you know, uh, Bandai or Tommy Machine Nation with, uh, that you have to buy stands separately. But I wish it would kind of, you know, upgrade their stand quality. So maybe like Figma standards. Um, I'm not trying to say that they shouldn't include stands. I do appreciate it. But the stands with figures like Domon, it doesn't really do it much good. So I'll probably, if I do any kind of like dramatic poses with Domon, I'll probably place them on uh, a Tamashi stage. So this is the typical 
like I said, the vault extent. And this little guy back here is, this is actually more useful than the Revoltic stand. It's kind of a, just a little, I guess you say like a, kind of like an L shape or an obtuse angle shape. Um, little brace, I guess. And all it is, is used for, you can plug it in the back of Domon. I'm guessing either here or here. Um, I don't think it actually matters. I mostly plug it in the bottom. It seems to fit more snugly in the bottom. And it's just a little small stamp that makes it a little brace that kind of helps him. I guess he's like in his sitting position. It keeps him kind of level so he won't fall over. So, you know, very nice, very nice. Um, let's put him back over here. And next, let's go over, let's see, we have a typical Realtek little container, which is very nice that it comes with, it can fit pretty much, I want to say all the accessories, or most of the accessories, like the, the rice and maybe the microphone, oh yeah, microphone fits. So this is a very, very good uh, little case for it, because it fits mostly all Domon's accessories in there. So, once again, another uh, addition that I do like that Realtek does, and that is this little guy. Um, next, we have additional hands, as you can see there. Oops, cover that. There we go. Additional hands, which have holes that allow you to plug in the accessories so that is very nice very very nice indeed Oops. my camera will focus for me it just seems to be having a little bit technical difficulties since these accessories are so small and while I have those accessories plugged in the chopsticks um, nothing too fancy about them, just basically two pieces of, I guess, red painted clear plastic. Um, as you can see, um, it's kind of hard. It's very hard to get accessories with this camera. I hadn't quite mastered the skills of taking accessories for this figure, I mean, for this camera. So, um, if you can see that, it's just two little red chopsticks. Are, they're probably clear and they just paint them red so uh, next we have the microphone or rather let's go to the bowl right sorry about that I don't know why I jumped so weird since we were talking about food let's go ahead and talk about the rice and the rice is very very nice um, <laughs> that kind of round the rice is very very nice oh if you can see there is a texture texture to the rice so like like with Domon you have like a textured surface it's just not like one big um, white piece of plastic it actually has some texture and some you know character to it which is very nice and nice little like floral patterns on the um, bowl of rice also and blue and red flowers if you can see that, they, they come off kind of uh, pinkish, but they are more bright red than anything. Uh, here we go. There we go. So you can see nice little detail. Very nice little detail with the rice. And next we have the microphone. And like I said before, that it kind of goes along with uh, Domon's origin story, that he was a short um, stop motion character created for the NHK satellite broadcast station or I'm not sure if it's a station or if it's like a company or whatever but he was created for that for the commemoration of the 10th anniversary or the 10th anniversary of that station so 
this is why he has like this kind of weather person um, microphone it's very nice and this is why he also has a TV that displays the weather very very cool very very nice this TV is very nice and detailed as you can see it's um, like I said very well done it's almost I wouldn't say realistic but it's very cool like it even has like the kind of wood panel see, uh, feel to it it doesn't feel like wood panel but it has that look of wood paneling and as you can see nice little weather you see some clouds and some sunshine something I, I kind of wish that this um, TV would have came with maybe some different like slide in slide out cards but I, I may tr try to make some of those myself um, so yeah very nice here's the back of it and last but not least I kind of skipped these for a reason I want to make these last and that are the eyes that Domon's com that Domon comes with and to quickly set the eyes to so, for as you can see here we have closed eyes, angry eyes, sleepy eyes, and crying. So you simply just remove uh come on, there we go. Simply remove the eyes and they're almost small pegs. So <laughs> sorry with that demo. Uh let's give one sleepy eye. Because it is very late and Domon should be asleep. Uh, and if you can see right there, it's not just a straight peg. It has a, like a peg and a little slit down at the bottom. So, just slide the eye in. I'm not quite sure if any of these eyes are specific to left and right. Now this one may be because it seems to be having issues when it comes to fitting in. So, and be very careful about removing these eyes since they are just on simple pegs and they do like to fly off in the distance. Um, before I may, I start working on this review, one of the eyes decided to take a little trip real quick and fly halfway across the room. So yeah, there we go. We can make him kind of rub his eye, make him all sleepy. Let's see, let's go ahead and take in, put in the other one. And there we go. Very nice. So I do really like that. And I like that um, Real Tech provided us with something to you know set the eyes in. Being that they are super, super small accessories. Um, you just slide them in here. And they fit in like the like they were going to Domo. They have little a little peg, a little hole, and a little almost like a key shape, like almost like a keyhole kind of shape. And they fit in just like that. That one's not going in all the way. You can see that. So yeah, you can see the little holes back here. Very very nice little eyes. Alright, sorry about that. My camera decided to cut off on me. I forgot one accessory here. If you can see that, it is the remote. It's kind of having a hard time focusing. Let me slide this box out of the way. And let me slide dumb on out of the way for a moment. So this remote can have its own time to shine. There we go. And it's a very nicely detailed remote. You can see all this. Which is a lot of buttons, apparently. They have a lot of numbers on this remote. It's, it's more than 1 through 0. I'm not, there's no real actual numbers on there. And they even have like a little um, small, small detail. Gosh, way down there. There you go. It's kind of hard to see, but this remote is very, very detailed. Very nice. You can even see the little like selection ring, like you know, the up, down, left, right, and the inner. It's very cool. Um, like I said, the back is just gray, and you have a little tip of brown to kind of kind of seamlessly go with Domon's hand. So, yeah, that is the remote. So, bring both these 
guys back in focus and the star of the show here we can get them set up there we go just my final thoughts per se um, should you pick up this figure should you not this guy ran me about 30 bucks um, I didn't buy him separately so I can't really tell you how much it will be with shipping but I bought him from HLJ so about 30 bucks so I wouldn't say no more than 40 um, it shouldn't be that much for shipping from HLJ um, you can possibly check Amazon but right now if I hadn't checked after I bought him so he should still be in stock because he is fairly new so it shouldn't be an issue about him being out of stock or anything like that since he's not really a limited edition or anything like that um, so yeah, this guy is very nice. It's very, very fun to have on your desk. Um, it's kind of a cool conversation piece. Um, something nice to kind of maybe uh, de-stress if you're, like, you know, school's getting ready to start back up. So maybe something to help you de-stress if you want to just play around with a little figure that's kind of cool and very interesting. So I would really recommend picking him up. Like I said, besides my little nitpicks with the arms and stuff, he has no real problem with posing for stuff like this which is very cool and um like i said fantastic figure not really that expensive and fairly good size fairly good weight tool and so if you really want i will put a link down below to the hlj website and you can go pick your own up there so once again this has been nerds toys and i hope you all have a fantastic day